Nigerian Nollywood industry practitioners and lovers are still brasking on Nollywood screening opportunity at the 2016 edition of the Toronto International Film Festival. Well, joining us over the phone to further analyze this is movie critic and Africa's Movie Academy Award jury member, Shwaibo Oseni from Lagos. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. To start with, what would you make of the invitation of Nollywood Film to Toronto International Film Festival this year? It is actually a segment of the festival that celebrates works from a, con a, a country that is served in, uh, where they have like something like an emerging cinema culture. And what these guys are doing in the industry has got into the attention of uh, the guys at Toronto and they feel that there's, time, there's a need for them to focus on the industry. And so for 10 days that the festival will span from the 8th to the 18th of September in Toronto, Toronto is one festival that attracts a large crowd of filmmakers, sales managers, um, national programmers, and so on. So I see this as a scene of a long journey in terms internationalizing Hollywood. But how enthusiastic are you about the selected movies? I'm aware that they came here, asked questions, they checked on the internet everywhere to get information about who is working, who is doing something new. And they looked through those works and they selected them. And in terms of what they have selected, I can very much say that the works they have selected point to a direction that story, taking, story making and story production has taken in the industry. New direct, in terms of uh, works that are done with high artistic ambitions, work that are technically sound, work that can be seen anywhere in the world, work can, that can be played anywhere in the world. And you see, one thing for me that this our going to Toronto has that is going to help a lot to the negative perception that the West have on Nollywood. Now, would you say this is the biggest exposure Nollywood is receiving as an industry within the international community? It is the, it is the biggest. If you know Toronto, Toronto happens in September, and there is no other big festival that happens again after Toronto. And Toronto is usually places where they show films that have chances of getting into the Oscars. I'm not saying that we may get into the Oscars because the only way we can qualify to get into the Oscars is if um, we produce foreign language film because the only category that we can enter is foreign language. And there is no film there that will qualify. Maybe of our show, which is the taxi driver, but it is predominantly an English film. It does like 20% um, Yoruba and all that. Uh -huh. So we may not get into Oscars, but the thing about Toronto is that Everybody comes to Canada in September because it's the last of the big festivals and they look forward to, you know, distribution agreements, to sales agreements and all that. So this is one of the biggest platforms that we have that I've ever seen. All this time, people, individuals have just been going out to America, attending some festivals here and there, uh, winning awards, attending some foreign awards and the rest. But all those ones are it cannot be compared to a platform like Toronto. So that's why for some of us who have been following world cinema, international cinema, we are excited at this and we think that government and the practitioners themselves must take advantage of this. Indeed, government must take advantage of this platform to to promote the industry and to attract investment into the industry. I know you've spoken about the general positives this holds for the industry, but how do you suppose this will specifically influence all the professional inclinations within the industry that says, including scripting and other technical aspects? Well, it will help them. You know why? They are going to have this film showcased and they are going to have this film reviewed by some international critics. Already some uh, internationally known uh, magazines that focuses on film and all that have been doing some reviews on them. So when they are watched, they'll be reviewed and the filmmakers will get instant feedback. Some of us have been opportunity to see some of those films and we know that they are still lacking in some technical areas. But there is nothing like getting feedback from an international audience who will tell you, hey, guys, we like the film, but it's too worthy. We like the film, but I think that you need to do more in terms of um, cutting down on the dialogue. We like the film, but you guys are exaggerating, you are, you are, there's so much exaggeration in the film and all that. 
So this kind of feedback they will get after this exposition will enable them to begin to think of how to package their films abroad. Let me also tell you one other thing that this has done for us. A lot of these people would have had their films into this festival. And one of the things that disadvantaged quite a number of them is packaging. Some of them have not learned how to package their films for international exposure. So they are content with satisfying local audience, are content with conquering Africa. And yes, there are some dollars waiting to be picked up in the international market. Thank you very much for speaking to us.